Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will be going over Unit 2, Lesson 7, Genes and Behavior, and Genetic Similarities. So let's define genotype and phenotype. Genotype is a set of traits coded in an individual's DNA, so it's inside. Phenotype is the appearance or behavior. Traits that manifest in an individual. So phenotypes are outside of the body. Next we have chromosomes. This word is derived from the Greek words chroma and soma, which means collar and body. And as we know from biology class, humans have 23 chromosomes. DNA stores information and it is what genes are made out of. We have the four base pairs which are adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. So gene is a unit of heredity. It encodes for a specific trait or function. And lastly, we have alleles, which are different forms of genes, and it could be dominant or recessive. So the nature nurture debate and methods of research. The nature-nurture debate is the debate on whether behavior is from nurture or environmental factors or like the way we are brought up, stuff like that. Or nature, internal factors like our genes. Methods of research that, now let's move on to methods of research. Twin studies. Twin studies, um, this estimates the similarity between identical twins, and compares this with fraternal twins. Adoption studies is when they compare an adopted child to its adoptive parents and siblings, and also to its biological parents and siblings when it is available. This could infer genetic influence. Intelligence in terms of adoption studies provides a direct test of environmental influence on cognitive abilities. Selective placement is when adopted children are paired with families the agency thinks are fitted for a better life for the child. Next, we have family studies. This uses the principle of genetic relatedness but compares in a broader scale. So instead of just siblings, participants could be the parents, the grandparents, aunts, cousins, and other family. Molecular genetics is the genetic mapping and identifying of alleles of a particular gene of a particular individual. So picking out a specific thing, niche picking suggests that our environment is chosen to complement our heredity. Biologically related children would usually select similar environments, which can explain the correlation. And this is the Falconer model, which is used for twin studies. So this is the formula they used to solve for the variables in twin studies. And lastly, we have gene expression. Methylation is when chemicals are added to DNA and represses gene transcription, which means that repressing gene transcription so this means that it could repress a gene being shown and next we have epigenetic changes this comes from the greek word epi which means over or outside of this is the deviation of phenotypes from the gene code so nurture influence nature and that is it for this lesson Thank you guys for watching and we hope to see you on our next video where we will be talking about evolution. Bye!